Welcome friends, welcome back to The Hangar. Today is a big day in the life of Mike Victor Uniform. We're gonna pull it back inside and we're going to install these Wing X wing extenders um, and a stole cuff and VGs. So this might play out over a couple of videos. We'll see how it goes. I'm expecting that uh, Andre, so Andre came in from Quebec. This is his toolkit. He specifically does metal work on aircraft. So he's going to install the stole cuff and the Wing X. Um, while Chris is working. I imagine this is gonna play out over two or three videos. There's a lot of work to do, and I'm hoping that we can get it all done this week so I can get back to flying, because it is a beautiful day outside. So, um, just waiting for everybody else to arrive, and we'll pull Mike Victor in uniform in, and we'll get going. So th this is Andre, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're just unpacking okay. the sportsman yeah, stole cuff. We're, we're filming, yeah. Okay. This foam. Those are the f foam bits that get glued to the leading edge yeah. to sh form the shape. Okay. You'll see all of this in close up as we put it on. Landing light glass support. Um, I guess we'll just sit over here for now and then we'll, uh, when we'll we get the plane, when we get the plane, yeah. Upstairs. Yep. Good. Cut. So what Andre's been telling me is that somewhere in the 61 year history of this airplane, this leading edge has been replaced and squeezed. No, 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 but somewhere in the past, someone has worked yeah, on this and they replaced, it, made they replaced it. Yep. So they've replaced the leading edge and it's not the right shape. No. Okay. Not the right shape. So in order to put the stole cuff on, Andre's going to have to do some extra work to, to make yeah. it, to make it all fit. See. Yeah. So you can see it's, there's a gap there and it just doesn't quite fit the way it's supposed to because the leading edge here. is not quite the right shape. And here, that's nice. Yeah. Because you follow the rib here with this one. Yep. So it fits well. That's nice. Very nice. So a little extra work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all the drawings. Andre knows what's going on. Andre knows. So there's all these foam blocks and Andre has measured out where they're supposed to be, taped them on in place just to make sure that they're in the right spot. And then you take it off, put on some glue Put it back in the same spot. Close with the rivet. Yep. Tip it back up. And then he's got his cardboard cutout just to make sure that we've got the right profile. And each of these cardboard cutouts is for a specific spot on the on the wing. Six. And just like that, just to make sure that it's nice. It's good. There we go. And that just stays taped on until the. Uh, until the glue cures. That's it, it's just slow, methodical, just make it happen. This 
see. Ah. Cool. So that just rolls. So Andre's got this tool that it kind of bevels the edge a little bit. Is that yeah. it, it, so it, it adds an it adds an edge bevel so that when this skin goes back on here um, at the top it will be smoother. Uh, no, you will. No space between. No, no space between. No, that's, uh, it'll yeah. fit better. Yeah, no, it, it'll, fit it, better. it'll fit better. Is is yeah. essentially what it comes down to. Is that is that um, is that part of the instructions for the installation, or you just no. do that because okay. Right. So it's not in the instructions. It's not in the in the number of hours. But Andre's a professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And we put this part here. Go. Ah, okay. So a little piece of foam. That little piece of foam directs the air back into the air vent. Yeah, no. You will see. Gonna be. I made two more holes. I see when we glue. Uh, yeah, much better, isn't it? Yeah. Now I will take hammer and just put this one a little bit down. I just snuck this one here. Put it a little bit down. Uh, I think I can, I can put flush with it. And so, as part of this, uh, Andre has also opened up a couple of extra inspection holes here um, that weren't here before. And those are, he's going to do um, rivet. solid rivets instead of the, the pull rivets or the yeah. pop rivets that come with the kit. Because they hold it, it's better? Yeah. Much? It's, uh, it's better. If you have something, uh, you know, you hit something, you know, it's easy to remove after then the pop rivet. So I've got a couple of extra inspection holes, which will be probably spots where I will uh, mount a GoPro because I can get my hand in here to put the uh, mounted battery up in here on the spar or beside the spar. Not on, not on the spar, beside the spar. <laughs> so Andre's got all the Clecos in at this point. It's all fitted. And now you take the Clecos out and you deburr. Uh, they burn and clean the dust in and between, clean the, you know, clean the, the chips, uh, aluminum chips, between. Okay. And uh, for that we reinstall. And if you can, if you want, you can put the tape here and prime underneath, if you want. It's not necessary, it's not necessary but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think I said this before, but the kit comes with uh, pop rivets, and this inboard section, uh, Andre is going to put solid rivets. So we're going to buck them in and and drive them. Yeah. But still on the outboard section, this section here, um, this will be pop rivets because there's no there's no room to get your hand inside the wing yeah. to to operate the bucking bar. And I know, in an earlier process, I had my arm inside the wing and cut my arm all <laughs> with the with the sheet metal, and you don't want to. And I like better solid rivet than pop rivet. Yeah, I prefer. So how many rivets? How many rivets have you bucked in your lifetime? <laughs> Couple million, or three million. Oh, a lot. No, I have to go.
the noise when you have a nice noise, you know, it changes, you know, change, the, change, change the sound. Just to make sure I'm on my rivet. This, this rivet you have to take care of because you have a part here. Yep. You have to go over one, one inch from there. So this is, people have asked me why I have two pitot tubes on the, on the airplane. This second pitot tube is just for the Dynon AOA. So it's got, um, I don't know if you can see, it's got a hole underneath here. So it's got the regular hole that a, that a pitot has. And then this one underneath, somehow it detects differential pressure, which tells you the angle of attack on the wing, which tells me on the panel what the angle of attack is. So it's as much as it's as much an art. Uh -huh. It's as much as an art. Yeah. You have to look, stand back, look at the plane and decide if it looks right. You think it looks right? Yeah. Rivet it on. Side and that side. Looks good. Yeah. Okay. Time to drill and rivet. That's the landing light cover. So the, um, the metal strip goes all the way across and Andre's just got to cut this piece of cover for the landing lights. How do you feel? So this is the new Sportsman Stole Leading Edge. It's difficult to see what it actually has changed, but if we look here at the end of the wing, you can see this is the old profile of the wing, and this is the new profile. And so this this uh, this metal here is just riveted onto the leading edge, and that just changes the wing profile enough to change your stall speed and get you off the ground a little bit faster, lowers your speed on landing. And so Andre has done a fantastic job. So he's just got a little bit of cleanup to do, just a few rivets to still put in, um, but that is that job done. At the same time, um, I've been working on putting on these VGs. And so I've been able to get them onto the tail. And so these are the VGs or vortex generators. I've got them on the vertical stabilizer and I've got them on the horizontal stabilizer and on the horizontal stabilizer they go underneath um, and they change the airflow. I'm going to put them on the top of the wings as well on the leading edge of the wings but I don't want to put those on until we get the wing extensions on. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, we've got the new stole cuff on the front. We've done a lot of work this time around going to end it here. We'll come back in the next episode and we'll install the Wing X wing extensions. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Um, I'm really excited to get these wing extensions on, get this plane back in the air again and see what these modifications have done to our uh, takeoff roll and our landing roll. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.